Friends, uh, we have a very, very interesting guest with us today, Michael Kasparovics. All of us, uh, all Indian cricket fans will remember him for the wicket that he took of Sachin Tendulkar. That's it, he's out, cotton ball. That's straight drive. The ball's stopping on him just a little bit. And that is the wicket the Australians were looking for. Good catch by uh, Michael Kaspervic. Ball was hit pretty firmly. Might have just been the change of pace. Every now and again, he, he rolls the uh, the wrist on one. He is here with, with us at Talent Sprint, and uh, we are here to ask him a few interesting questions, which are extremely useful for students and aspirant job aspirants like you. Kaspar, welcome to Talent Sprint. Uh, nice to have you in India back. I have to say I love coming to India. Um, I, I always have done that since 1998 when I first, uh, it was my first tour to India and managed to, to come here I think about six other times on my cricket tours. So now I'm spending a lot of time coming to India uh, and a number of different capacities and one place I always love coming to is Hyderabad. It's almost like a home away from home. That's good. So welcome. And uh, really, I mean, this is a, going to be a short interview. So one thing I just wanted to ask you is what is your advice to the Indian youth who are looking for exciting careers? I'm sure that India is a youth country. There's a large number of people aspiring for great careers. They have seen people like you, people like Sachin, who you played with, and want to have a great career for themselves. Well, I'll tell you what I did. I've been here, I played, I was at high school and I got picked to play cricket for Queensland first class cricket. And played 10 years of cricket for Australia um, in and out of sight. So in every way, lived a dream. Lived my dream, played cricket. When I finished, I thought I needed to go and do something else. So I actually went and did an MBA, Master of Business, uh, at the University of Queensland uh, in Brisbane. And the lesson there for me that I learned from cricket is it's about ownership. Is it like I'm in charge of my journey and not waiting for someone to hand something out to me. I have to get out and find the right way to go. Find, find something that's going to make me better. Um, the second part of that is make sure there's no excuses. Make sure that that you put yourself in the best position for things to, to work out. If you try hard, you never know where it can take you. Oh, that's a that's really interesting point. So, from the cricketing experience, uh, what's ultimately very really important? Is it uh, talent or hard work? Well, I think talent gets you so far. Uh, talent certainly uh, can, can separate you initially from the crowd, but I think what really happens is, is it's hard work and it's the ownership of that hard work. Uh, as I mentioned, uh, you're in control. There's sacrifice involved with hard work. It means that sometimes you can't go out with your friends. Sometimes you've got to make decisions that uh, put you in a position to perform the best you can, um, whether you're playing cricket, studying for an exam, or preparing for a new career. And, uh, look, my example of, of going back to university mm -hmm. post playing cricket um, is an example of that. Um, I'm just looking at ways to make me better and more, more employable. At the same time, give me the experience to stand out, uh, certainly from, from anyone else. Oh, that's good. And uh, see, for even you need the talent, when you really look at it, I'm sure you must put a lot of hard work yeah. to get to where you were when you got into the uh, uh, cricketing yeah. or bowling when you were in high school. So, what kind of hard work are you putting in at the point in time? Well, I think uh, everything. Um, when you're doing something you love, when you've got a real goal, mm -hmm. I think that's the most important thing. Once you've decided that that's the direction you want to head, okay. um, it makes the whole lot easier. Um, having said that, you, you want to have some flexibility as well. And, and really, for me, for me, the, 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 it's, it's all about yeah, the, the hard work of, of, of often doing the stuff that, that, that isn't enjoyable, like study. Um, and put it this way, when you see when you see Test Creed on TV or the IPL, um, and you're watching professional people do their job, it looks very easy. It looks nice and simple. Yeah. What you don't see is the way that someone like Sachin Tendulkar would have trained really hard off the field. You don't see all the work that's happened off the field. Um, and that's to me, is the hard work. Um, that, that's, that's the stuff that no one else sees, no one else... Um, Gets to gets to yeah, gets to notice uh, if you like, and so so I think that that's that's a big part. So we talked about hard work, we talked about uh, talent. Is there a role for luck in a career when somebody wants to be in that? I personally don't like the word luck. Mm -hmm. 
And I'll say that because um, as I got older, I realised the only team that talk about luck is generally the loser. Because the loser <laughs> talks about being unlucky. Whereas the winning team doesn't ever sits on the other side in the dressing room with the trophy held high, talking about how lucky they were to win. So for me, that's one thing that I, I, I don't deal with. You know, sure, there's, there's good fortune and there's you know, something you appreciate, you enjoy it when things go your way. But I think the reality is, is that you can't blame luck, you can't blame anything, you are in control. Um, I think it's, it's, it's plain and simple like that. And that way, I think, when you do get to your end goal, um, yeah. you tend to enjoy it a little bit more. One last question. Uh, what do you think Indian cricket team is doing now in England, so suffering from that? What do you think is, what's your views on that? Well, they're not, they're not blaming luck, are they? Oh, I, I know there's some uh, green looking wickets uh, in India um, and look that, that's, the, that's the part where I talk about luck um, you, as a sports person you, there's so many things that can affect your performance whether it be weather, whether it be the conditions, uh, pitches umpiring condition, uh, decisions can sometimes you know, go, go your way or go against you and I think that's just um, that's the beauty of sport Hopefully the Indian team's not talking about luck at the moment, that's for sure. And I think um, one of the things that, that I hope they do is that they really work it out. You always learn from mistakes. That's one thing. And knowing how good that Indian team is, how fantastic the players are on that side, I have no doubt they will um, and, and put things together. And certainly before the cricket series, the basketball series this year in Australia, four test matches, the first in Brisbane, and Brisbane's my home. So I've always enjoyed coming to, to India and Hyderabad specifically. So I'm just really looking forward to, to India coming to Brisbane and, uh, and having a real good time there. Oh, excellent. Okay, so that's Michael Kasparovic for you, talking to us about how to be successful in our career. And uh, thanks, Jasper. Uh, no, last you. words for you from your end for the. Oh, look, I, just, as I mentioned, I think it's all about just uh, owning your journey, owning, uh, making a decision to be involved with Talent Sprint and really giving yourself the best chance. So uh, I just wish you all of us the best of luck in your future, uh, in whatever endeavours you choose. And uh, good luck India in the Test Series in Australia. You're going to need it.